Hey everyone. My area has very hard water, so it does this to the sink. Take a look at those water stains. Just little droplets of water keep evaporating, leaving behind all kinds of minerals. Look at this side of the sink. Look at this. That's just iron and mineral buildup. This sink was literally just full. It's not just dusty from me not using it. That's mostly iron, lots of water deposits all over the place. Look at that, all over the stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and clean it today. I clean it about once every six months or so, get all this stuff out of there. This very convenient thing comes from Timu, if anyone's interested in that. I can also wash that off. See, it's pretty clean underneath that. And yeah, I use this right here. So we're going to mix this with a little bit of water, smear it all over, literally everything, the handle, all this stuff, the faucet, soap dispenser here, here, all over this stuff here. Then we're going to let it sit for a little bit. Once it sits, I'm going to go ahead and take this, go into the, all the corners real nicely, down in the drain, between everything, and it really helps a lot. I also got these other attachments too, and in the other room, over here in the bathroom, the hard water makes the caulking eventually turn colors, but that can be cleaned off. Down inside the tub, see it starts making this discoloration. But also this, see that right here? That's hard water deposits. I will use that same brush I just showed you on that after letting Barkeeper's Friend soak on that. And same with the faucet, the overflow, the drain. Now the walls in here, that brush I just showed you will actually leave little visible scratches all over it because it's a PVC wall. Now if we leave it on, if we use that brush with the drill, it's actually, it will scratch this. It will scratch the tub because it's plastic. So we use this instead with the drill. Actually does a really good job. Go over the whole thing like that. And in here I actually just use regular soap on this stuff here. And hard water leaves marks in the toilet, anywhere, see right here, where a little bit of water sits, it becomes discolorized. That's iron oxidizing bacteria that will live there because it's often wet. You see up here, hard water. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and clean everything. It's been about six months. I've seen it worse, but we're gonna clean it today. Basement sink, I'm probably gonna let off on that. I barely use the basement sink, but that's a stainless steel sink, so barkeeper's friend would love that too.
Wow, after 30 minutes, take a look at that shine compared to before. Awesome. There's some scratches in there, but there's no way to get that out. But the hard water marks are completely gone now. It's looking really good. Real shiny. Looks brand new again. The faucet looks brand new again. Took this apart, and those were really gross underneath there. I bought these a while back. Didn't use them on this job, but these are to get like in between little spots where the big drill couldn't get. But it works really good. But as you saw, it takes a lot of rinsing because... The first time I did this, I didn't realize how tough it is to get this eye actually off afterwards. So this is like a very corrosive scrub. And it's like really fine granules in there that help grind things away. It's very acidic like drain cleaner. So I'm going to make sure I take extra long showers for the next few days to make sure that gets out of the septic tank and stuff. Because that's not good to have. It's corrosive. So while cleaning this, everything went along nice except one thing. This right here, when I stuck the drill down in here, it went around this one real nice. It unscrewed this one and I lost the bolt down the drain. I just went and took that apart as you saw to see if the bolt was in the trap. I didn't think it would be, especially with all the water I was using, it got flushed away pretty fast. And I probably should have went looking for it in the first place, but I just wanted to make sure it wouldn't clog it because see what went missing? this big metal part on the end. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't stuck where it would cause a clog, but it cleared. It's in the septic tank now, who cares? I can always replace that bottom part or this whole thing for like two bucks. Not that big of a deal. Now, this was a tedious one because you gotta make sure all that's off because when it dries, it's gonna look like it's dusty because it means you didn't get it all off. It takes a while to get it all off. You saw me very carefully squeezing out the sponges dozens of times, going around cleaning all this, because it's corrosive again. If you leave it on here, it will literally wreck things. Even the toilet gets a bit gross from the iron oxidizing bacteria. So let's clean that out real quick. Now, even in the toilet, we're gonna use a little barkeeper's friend because there's a line right there, you see? The other cleaner won't get off. So we gotta use this. All right, we got rid of it. One more flush 
that'll be good. Now, rest of the toilet, we gotta do by hand. everyone toilets all clean now the toilet gets cleaned obviously a lot more often than the other sinks like that vigorously and I only clean the base of the toilet when it starts to get dusty and that's not that bad yet the stool here will have to be pressure washed at some point maybe I can clean it up right now a little bit Just clean the tub, clean the faucets and stuff. The walls I don't think need it, so I'm not even gonna bother. They don't look dirty visually, so I'm not gonna take the time to clean them. The shower head also is not visually dirty, but take a look at that shine. You can see your reflection in it now. Here's what it looked like before. See that right here? That's hard water deposits. And here's what it looks like now. This is also nice and clean, super shiny. Very easy compared to the kitchen sink. I clean the entire tub. You see, you can't see any of those nasty marks around the edges. It turned white again. Tub, see it starts making this discoloration with the barkeeper's friend. But don't use the brush for something like this. It will leave micro scratches. If you have good vision, you'll notice it. And you probably notice the same thing. The shower should not be filling up. There's obviously hair in here. Doesn't look like much, but you see that? You don't get the diameter right here, so the water's forced into those four little holes. And just a little bit of hair like you're seeing, that actually doesn't look like much, but you notice a difference when it's out of there. Let's get that out. go on in there with my fingers it's much easier than the screwdriver once you get it started yeah there's hair who knows what could be hanging on to the bottom of that come on out of there yep can't get any more of that so we gotta get more of the screwdriver not by far the worst because showering uses less capacity than the faucet and when I shower you don't even notice that this is an issue until you have the high capacity faucet going come on out of there come on it's stuck to my nail what the heck it's still stuck to me <laughs> 
it's still stuck. How is it stuck to me? There's even more of it down there. I can probably just leave it like that, but there's one more strand there holding on to a ball. should drain nicer. And I just rinsed out the tub again, and yes, that did help a lot. A little bit of hair like that cut down the capacity enough where it wasn't being affected by the low flow shower, but it was by the high capacity faucet. Downstairs in the basement half bath, I'm not even going to bother cleaning it because see, it's not that dirty. You would notice quite the difference if I did clean it. It would be a lot shinier, but I don't think it needs to be done. See, there's hard water here if you zoom in because you wash your hands and you leave a bunch of drops because who wipes the whole sink off when they're done? That's what happens. It's the same crud that builds up in like your fish tank if you don't do water changes often enough. It's just concentrated minerals. See, this is still pretty shiny from the last time I did it because I don't use the sink very often. How about over here? How dirty is this? This toilet's actually got dust all over it, but that's because I was doing electrical work above it. And this toilet's not even that dirty compared to the other one. It's a little discolored. You can see down there from the iron from there to here, but I don't think it's worth cleaning it, so we're just going to go ahead and leave it. Ah, better do it while I'm at it. Ah, while I'm at it, I better clean this too. Yeah, I have to do it. Because I don't use this toilet, and it's always shut. It's humid in there, and as a result, there's actually mold growing there. All right, here we go again. Let's get all this stuff out of here. We'll need this sponge. We'll clean these up. Get some water down here. clean. Does it look a little cleaner? Probably. Even when this water dries up, it'll look cleaner because to get stains like you see, this has to be, you leave it here, it dries up. You wash your hands again, it dries up. Wash your hands again, a couple hundred more times it dries up, then it really starts leaving minerals behind. Now it's time to clean this toilet. And we have a different type of cleaner down here for this toilet. bleach. Close that up. Actually, I have the better toilet brush in the bathroom I never use. This one that's actually made for this toilet. It sticks into the jet. Now, I bet there's going to be a slight ring, so I'm going to have to use drill in here again. There we go. Into the jet.
I'm actually not seeing a ring in this toilet. All clean. I'm gonna give this a rinse before we put it away. This was an awesome investment, this brush right here. It came with the leather couple brushes. Five bucks on Timu, and I've used this many times for this job. Also cleaning the rims on my car. Using really hot water to sterilize it for a minute. The dry cycle, good. And now that stuff I was using again is acid, so I want to clean the drill off briefly. You don't want that residue sitting on it, especially the metal parts. Now the drill can dry. I can recharge its battery. Oop, that was really hot, I forgot. So, I hope this video of cleaning everything in the house was interesting. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.